Um, I asked the question, do the Namibians still want democracy? Because we assume that if there's no demand for democracy, or there's very little demand for democracy, there's no need in having democracy. Uh, our original inspiration for the questions around uh, democracy comes from Winston Churchill, where he said democracy is probably the worst form of government except all others. Um, I've broken down the data into what I thought would be interesting uh, social groupings for uh, our audience. Uh, first of all, we ask people whether they think democracy uh, is the best system there is, or whether they would like to have some form of non-democratic alternative. On the left-hand side, you see that we break it down by age, and since 2014, support for democracy has declined with more than 20 percentage points. So high up in the 70s in 2014, and currently just over half the population still prefers democracy. Uh, the key issue here is that the rate with which support for democracy is declining in our society are equal across ages. That means the youth is no longer producing more Democrats. The youth uh, has to learn about democracy. Democracy or Democrats aren't born, they're made. Uh, and I do believe this reflects uh, poorly on the kind of civic education that we currently uh, conduct. At the same time, Namibians um, uh, reject support for one-party rule, or one-man rule, or support for military government. But you can see, uh, again, since 2019, support for the non-democratic alternatives are on the increase, especially that uh, of military government. Uh, so around about one in four Namibians think uh, support for a military government is maybe not such a bad idea. We have additional questions where we probe this, um, but I think this is a very worrying trend. So if support for democracy is that low, uh, it also follows that satisfaction with democracy must be declining. And again, the 2014 threshold is quite clear. 75% of Namibians were satisfied or very satisfied with democracy in 2014. It's now just around 50%. So what causes this? Um, we ask a number of questions about uh, how well government's doing in terms of its economic policies. And there's a whole list of them managing the economy, narrowing the income gap, fighting corruption, creating jobs, and improving living standards of the poor. And you can see here too, even since 2003, the trend is a downward one, uh, meaning that government's performance uh, in, the public, uh, in the public view has declined. Only around one in five people these days think that government's doing fairly well or very well in terms of its economic policies. Uh, the trend is the same for social policies. Here we talk about how basic health services, education needs, water sanitation, and supply of electricity. It's slightly better than the economic policies, but it is still going downwards. 